So, Namaste everyone. I'm Satya Mishra. I'm joining you from Bhagalpur, Bihar, India. And this is my story during COVID-19. So, I remember uh, preparing uh, my students from Teach for India. The first group of students out of the 28,000 students we have at Teach for India for the rigorous advanced placement calculus exam. Now, I am preparing them in, 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 a, in, a, in a shop, you know, because, because it's after the class hours that we are uh, collaborating on a project like this. And suddenly on 18th March, till 17th March, things were absolutely fine. We would study for five to seven hours in the cafe after their school hours and after my work. Suddenly on 18th March, when I visit the same cafe with my students, I'm denied coffee, I'm denied food. And I'm told that there's, there has been a curfew imposed, section 144, which means that you cannot have more than four people sitting at the same place. And that came in as a shock because, because there was nothing that, that we had heard of or we had, we had been informed or warned about. Uh, so advanced placement calculus exam is in itself a very tough exam. My students were preparing for it. And it was, it was, it was very difficult for us to adapt to things immediately. I'm an engineer turned educator, so it was easy for me to use technology and that came in very handy during the pandemic. Uh, I remember that, so the good news is that, I mean, uh, cutting the long story, the good news is that all my students cracked the advanced placement calculus exam. They became the first group of students out of the thousands of students we have at Teach for India to, to get it, uh, leading the way for several others. Uh, well, I was quite surprised and shocked when, uh, a lot of teachers had to install Zoom after the pandemic and after the lockdown was declared. So a lot of teachers were installing Zoom on their smartphones or their computers uh, when the lockdown was already declared in, in the country and the students had to stop going to the school. Uh, a lot of things was, was going on in, 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 in Pune, in Bhagalpur, everywhere across. So I started a program by the name of, I'm a teenager, I'm a teacher with my students. And they were math students, so they could understand the COVID curve. They could understand that it was an exponential graph. At that point in India, it was very hard for a lot of people to believe uh, that how come, I mean, I'm talking about, if, if I mention the date, 24th March, 2020. We in India had 500 cases. We are a population, we have a population of 1.38 billion people. A lot of people in the communities found it to be outrageous for the government to issue one of the strictest lockdowns in the world when only 500 positive cases existed, 1.38 billion people. My students and I decided over WhatsApp calls, which became our saving point, to create videos in Indian languages, in Hindi, in Marathi, in English, on COVID, you know, on the exponential graph, you know, how in Italy we had two cases in this week and it moved to 70,000 in these many number of days. My students designed it, they dubbed it in different languages, they started circulating it in their respective communities at a terrific pace. My organization, which I'm very proud of, Teach for India, shared it on their homepage and it got over 5,000 views there. So we were trying to save lives through information, mathematics and student leadership, which I think is going to be the future of India. Uh, I remember that uh, I, I was in Bhagalpur and a lot of teachers here struggled with technology, majorly struggled with technology because they had never used it. I would be learning from a resource that was very, very useful and I appeal to all of you to, to please have a look at it. It was the Microsoft Education Center. It was absolutely free and it had a number of tools and technological ways to help and support children learn remotely. I remember working about 17 hours on weekends, uh, you know, just to kind of get those skills right and pass it on to teachers in Bhagalpur, Bihar. So I think I think that that changed a lot of things for me uh, from from being a teacher. I also became a teacher trainer uh, during COVID, just helping teachers to get their hands on technology and continue teaching the wonderful children who were now unfortunately out of school. Uh, I, in the same time, I, I must share, so I'm a part of the Teach for All network, uh, and I'm also a network connector. During COVID, 
sitting in bhagalpur bihar i got a wonderful opportunity to create a teacher training institute with the help of teach for nigeria's wonderful team so together with with teach for nigeria together with with the team i started working on the first virtual teacher training institute that teach for nigeria was developing for 400 teachers in nigeria so we could do all of that using technology we could do all of that to help about 12000 students in nigeria across three cities so covid was a very difficult time uh, for all of us uh, at a personal front because because our loved ones were getting sick uh, on a professional front because we had to turn things around everything had to be dependent on technology and uh, to support my friends who are teachers who are brilliant teachers but then who did not have uh, to do so much with technology before the pandemic hit us all i think a couple of things that i am going to to share with you this is basically my headquarter this has been my headquarter for quite some time i am teaching students in mount assisi puraya hat which is 2 hours from my my place when i drive down but then you know internet wise it's right here so this is the board that i used to teach uh this is my marker and uh these are the books that are here so it is uh, it is very very easy for me to continue teaching my students even in a remote place like purayat uh online and i have been doing that since 14th of june 2021 uh, uh, when the principal of the school rang me up uh, and i i have immense respect for him and told me about the situation the problem that the students were facing i'm very happy to share this with you Very, very happy that with this board, with this marker, and with this book, we were able to get students an average of ninety-seven point eight five percent in their ICSE Phase One exam, twenty twenty-one. So this has worked for students and for me, and I look forward to teaching them every single day right here. So my 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 markers look like this. There's a lot of colorful markers here. Uh, my 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 entire routine, you know. I mean, a couple of more markers here. I'm really sorry for for plastic, but a lot of more markers here on the table. So it has all become a little office and a headquarter. And thanks to technology, that the best of instruction reached the best of students, helping them to perform really really well in exam. And I hope that uh, we continue to pick up on certain tricks. and make this world a smaller and a more connected place